Hello everyone. Today we're gonna be reviewing the new update. Uh, it's I don't it, I don't think it has a name, but let's just get started. So there's now electrical lines you can actually go to. This I'd say would be really good for role play, and it's kind of hinting more to electric cars, and not just one electric line, but we have two lines in the game. Now, if you guys remember the update of where we can crash in fences, now they have updated it, and now you can hear sound, just like that. Now if we head over to DOT, they have actually added a new truck, the, Chev the Chevy Silverado 2019. It is a new truck on the DOT team. It's about 40 grand, and it looks really detailed, really nice. And it has an arrow sign you can put on and a customization. This truck is really nice. I would have bought it, but I am actually really broke in the game. Now if we head over to the police team, they have now added a new radio for roleplay, and I think it's really cool. It's really detailed. I love the animations. If you look in the top left corner, you can actually see that when you pull it out, it actually transmits, which I really like. I'm really excited to see these in more roleplay videos of RLC. Comment down below if you want me to start some uh, roleplay video. They have now added a new car for both the sheriff team and police team. It is uh, F350 or F450 modified. It looks really cool. It's very pricey though, 189 grand. And yeah, it's really expensive. It might be 169 grand, I can't remember. But it's really cool. It reminds me of the one on the EMS team. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This was really fun making for Process Me. This was a really cool update in my opinion. And I hope you guys are excited for the winter update in November in a couple weeks or a month.